A way in which to remove a disposition is to habituate ourselves in the reverse position, reverse disposition. So for example, if a person is greedy, then habitually they become greedy. They should therefore start giving by force so that giving becomes a habit. And eventually they will have to address the habit of giving as well. So that it becomes sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, otherwise it becomes habitual. So Toba addresses the negative, sometimes by introducing the positive, and at other times by removing the positive in order to bring about a state of fluidity and sincerity inside the human soul. So let's talk a little bit more about these habits and how they penetrate the soul. Some of them are very positive. A person who is charitable cannot stop being charitable because it becomes identified with them. So even if they have nothing, they will still be charitable by their attitude, by their words. Even if they have something very little, they will give it away because they can't seize themselves, they can't stop themselves from the habit of giving. Similarly, if a person is truthful, even if they face the danger of destruction, death, detriment and harm, they will not be able to stop themselves from being truthful. This is the meaning of habit that becomes identity. So Toba, when it's negative or counterproductive or deceptive, will address these dispositions. So Toba is a constant process of checking our inner self to see if there is any habit, any attitude that is preventing us from embracing the ultimate. Now there are two types of Toba that I'm going to talk about now. They are a striving from the individual to reach God. And then there is the Toba in which the individual pleads to God to turn to him. So the first one is when the individual tries to regain their original position with God that was lost through all these habits and through all these barriers. The second one is at the failure of reaching God, acknowledging the inability and asking Allah to turn to us. Allah says, He is Tawabun Rahim. He is the one who returns. And I say, Atubu Ilaik, I turn to you. And therefore I say to Allah, when I fail in turning to Allah, I say, Oh Allah, you turn to me. Because I can no longer turn with you. I find myself extremely inadequate. And this acknowledgement of inability is then asking Allah to turn to us and to compensate for our lack that we can't and to purge us from our habits that we are unable to. And that's a phenomenal aspect of Toba. That the Taib, the person who is repenting, turning to God, finds themselves in a, a, unable to turn to God and says to God instead, you turn to me now. And I have full confidence in you. So Toba is a constant process of addressing our inner self and removing our barriers. The greatest barrier is my own self and my own identity that I am. When I say I am, that becomes the greatest obstacle in the final analysis from reaching God. But that is something that's very difficult to remove. I have to put it into check at all points. But finally, the question is to turn to Allah and say, Oh Lord, I cannot remove myself from myself and my inadequacies. You as a favor, turn to me. With this, we will stop here and continue in the next session.